Hey everybody, welcome back to more Lunar 2 Eternal Blue Complete, where last time we went and got through the water ruins and got ourselves the left sapphire jewel, which, um... Yeah, considering I pulled it from the right eye, it's a little bit weird that it's the left, plus it's also, like, pinkish, so it's more like a, um, shining pearl in a sense, but, uh, I guess it makes sense. I don't know, I mean, considering this one is an opal, I, I don't know, I feel like that's a little weird, and also this one's the right one, but it's also the left eye. From the dragon's perspective, anyway. Either way, now we can go to the Star Dragon Tower. In order to do that, we can just go to the Starlight Forest by driving over there, but we have a little bit of an easier access. This is we've already been there. We can just kind of click on it. And instead of bringing us to the entrance, it brings us to the entrance of the Star Dragon Tower. So we're already here. So let's just pop this in. There we go. Left side of our jewels wedged into the right eye socket. There we go, and one more over this way. Right, Opal Jewel is placed into the socket. Ha! Huh, look, Hero, we did it! Now we can <laughs> I couldn't even get through that with a straight face. Yes, I know the image is wrong. This epilogue is having a little bit of issues, and I think that's the localization's fault because this was probably correct in the Japanese version. We're some team, huh? Yeah, Hero. <laughs> I don't know what to say about you, buddy. If you're talking to yourself just that way, you're saying your name out loud. Yeah. I mean, we're here, so let's head inside. Welcome, intrepid adventurer. You who holds the star pupil and seeks guidance to the blue star. If true courage dwells within thee, the path shall be revealed to thine eyes. But if thou dost not have the mind and body of sufficient strength, Thou shalt draw thy final breath up in this tower. I have the strength. I have the courage. Now, can we hurry this up? Lucia's waiting for me. Okay, hero. Jeez. Very well, courageous one. Reveal the power of your heart. It's just like Mother said. This is definitely the way to travel from Lunar to the Blue Star. There's only one task left, hero. And that's to find the Ascent Dragon. That's wrong as well. Again, the epilogue. <sighs> uh, I think it's the localization's fault on this part. Just a little bit. Either way, let me click this button. So let's all work together to make it happen and immediately go into my menu. Because normally that thing decides to charge you. So this area, you kind of want to be wary about like paralysis and mute and things like that. So just keep on all your stuff from earlier and you should be fine when it comes to that. Well, I mean, uh, my party lineups is, you know, just good as usual. It's fine. There's no treasures in this area, so you don't have to worry about it. This is the final dungeon. So. I know that was the mirror making the noise, but it's just kind of funny thinking the mirror is like, yeah! <laughs> Either way, we have a bronze creep as well as the master mirror. So let's start off with the bronze creep. He's a little bit of a weirdo. Yeah, he's, uh, it, it's fine. It's pretty easy to figure out with the bronze creep. If its mouth is going up and down like this, it's kind of hard to tell. It's, it's just like little pixels. It's going to just shoot a magic ball at somebody and it's going to cause paralysis. But if they're just closed like uh, this over here, they're just going to hit somebody. Now the magic mirrors, thankfully, Thankfully, they have an easy tell. This one's red. These ones are like the standard gray, so it's a little bit easier to figure out what they're going to be doing. If it's red like this, it's spinning this way. It's going to hit them with an energy sphere, just like the other enemies, the creeps over there. But if it's going like this, it's going to just go up to somebody and hit them with a spinning slap. So either way, it is what it is. These magic mirrors are resistant to all magic types, so don't even bother using magic on them. You could if you want to. I mean... They only have like 300 hit points. It's not that big of a deal. But the bronze creep, on the other hand, say it with me, charm, death, paralysis, poison, seal, sleep, all resistant. So don't even bother. We're just going to attack everything flat out as much as possible. Honestly, there's not really too much we can do. I'm just going to have gene attack, whatever. And honestly, I know they're resistant to it, but I'm just going to do a catastrophe anyway, since Lamina has so much MP, I don't care. <laughs> and then Leo's just going to go up and attack something in the meantime as well. Well, that worked out all the same. Leo, can you level up? Yeah, there we go. I totally guessed. Thank you, Leo. Now you're actually lined up with everybody again for a little bit. 
Not that long, anyway. Either way, again, big map. So we're just going to keep heading forward. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I get it. Another new enemy, the Steel Soldier. Unfortunately, they're only doing one of the battle animations. I can't really show off too much a little bit here. But if the sword is just pointing down like it is, it's just going to go up and just go like psh, with the sword on like somebody's head. But if the sword's raised up in the air, it's just going to hit somebody. So it's just pretty much two attacks. Has a lot of HP though. Not too much, honestly. Like two, three attacks from somebody, not that big of a deal. But its weaknesses are pretty much all the elements. Earth, flame, thunder, water, wind, all that good fancy stuff. But again, charm, death, paralysis, poison, seal, sleep. All resistant, so, yep. So all we're really going to do is just kind of go up and just attack everything as much as possible. Attack, you can attack just fine. You use catastrophe to just do a lot of damage and then there we go. And that's pretty much the battle. I'm just gonna let this happen. There we go. There's still one extra enemy left that I haven't fought yet, but we're just going to make a beeline towards the top now. The cool thing about this area was in the Sega CD version in the US, it actually had a different song for this area because it commissioned a new song for it. Which is kind of cool. I'm actually going to play it now as I'm heading up because you already kind of heard this music already, so might as well change it up a little bit. But the Sega CD version of this dungeon is honestly pretty bad. It's just like go... It's almost like a spiral staircase. It's not like this. Which is slightly annoying because if we want to actually go the way, we actually need to go up and then around. Yeah, there's a giant wall on the way over here. Just kind of annoying. But it's all good. I have no idea how I didn't get in a battle with either one of those. All right, now let's make our way around right over here. And then up. Now let's see if we can get around you. That's a no. All right, let's get to the next floor. Where on this floor, we actually have another new enemy to deal with. Which wasn't him, obviously, but I should probably actually maybe use one of my silver lights because Lamina is kind of low on MP already. There you are. The last new enemy in the game, the Bomb Angels. And thankfully we have both animations. It's just kind of a color swap of things we already dealt with before. When his cannon is glowing like this, it's gonna shoot a magical ball at somebody. And anybody that's nearby may also get hit by it as well. And it could mute them. If it's just kind of standing there, it's just gonna hit somebody with the cannon. Resistances. C, D, P, P, S, S. Yes, we know. It's all the same stuff as before, so. Yeah, we're just going to attack them flat out. We don't necessarily need to be anything too fancy with this battle. Just kind of go in and then bam, bam, bam. Pretty easy battle. All right, now we just need to make our way through the rest of this floor, which, uh, yeah, there's a lot of rooms to deal with and a lot of enemies to deal with. All right, now that we cleared all of them out, all we need to do is just head right back down this way. And we're pretty much just doing like a giant U-turn in a sense. All right, now that that one's clear, we just gotta go straight down over here. And this one's a little weird. It's kind of like the same thing, but it's like sideways. All right, let's get rid of... Okay, I guess I'm not getting rid of you. You're just going to fly right by me. And Ronfar gains a level. Yeah, sorry, hero. <laughs> Lamina gains a level. Level 64. All right, let's fix that blunder. <laughs> let's uh, make sure that everybody's topped off. There we go. And level up, please. There it is, here at level 64. That's a little better. Gene level 64, so a little bit weird, but it works. At least everybody's still level 64. 
There we go. All right, and now that we're through that, let's use another silver light on Lamina there. And why not, Gene? There we go. Might as well waste them. We're in the final dungeon. That's a lot of mirrors. All right, now that all the mirrors are gone, we're just going to head right up over here, and we see the stairs immediately. All right, and here we go. To the next floor with another enemy that... Can you, like... Can I dodge you in some way, shape, or form? Ah! Oh. <laughs> Leo gains a level. Again, finally. At least. Speed's actually getting pretty high, thankfully. Finally. <laughs> Alright, let me make sure I'm topped off for the next batch of enemies. That way I don't have hero die again. There we go. Alright, gotta go down. I can't avoid you. The magic mirrors are always the worst because there's usually like four or five of them in a battle, so they just gang up on one person and they destroy them. There we go. Moving on. Hi, enemies. And now we're finally getting into slightly tricky dungeon design. This is a dead end. We see the stairs over there, so in order to actually get over there, we just go this way. Where there's more enemies to fight, because obviously you can't get through there without fighting some enemies. I say as I dodge every single one of them. Alright, never mind. <laughs> There we go. And now all we really need to do from here is just head straight north. A little bit further north. There we go. There we go. And that's the final dungeon of the game. Just a lot of enemies to deal with. Honestly, it's not awful. It's just a million different enemies. So let me just uh, top off everybody over here. All right. There we go. And let's prepare for the final battle. I only really need to make one change, honestly. Which is just this over here. This luck ring. Eh. I honestly... Let's see. Do I want more defense? Or do I just want to lower damage of elementals? I think I'm going to put the Spirit's Talisman on. And past that, I'm pretty much okay. So let's do this. <laughs> Are you the one who seeks the blue star? The impudent human who dares challenge my superior power with nothing more than courage? Who, who are you? Show yourself! <laughs> I'm surprised that you failed to recognize me, Red Dragon. Do you not feel the presence of one of your own? Do you not realize that I am the Star Dragon? What in the world? I am the guardian of the ancient bridge that joins this world to the Blue Star. There are many years yet to pass before the Blue Star will awaken from its sleep. And I can't allow anyone to disturb that sleep until the time of awakening. Whatever reasons you may have for traveling to the Blue Star are meaningless to me, human. I command you to leave this place at once, and to never return. I must find Lucia! Don't you understand? She needs me, just as I need her! What could she possibly require from a human being? I... I don't know yet. But that's why I have to go. Lucia's all alone in a barren, hostile place, trying to fulfill her mission to return it to life. And I love her too much to let her shoulder that burden alone. I know that if I were there, I could find a way to help her revive the Blue Star. And then, someday, when it's ready to be inhabited again. I want to be there with Lucia. I want to be with the one I love. You must let me pass. You defy me, human, despite all that I have told you. We defeated Zophar to save this world, and I am prepared to defeat you to save Lucia. As you wish. Before this final battle, let's see the other option, shall we? I must reach the blue star! And what will you do when you arrive there, human? She needs no help in reviving the blue star. It is a task for which she is certainly qualified. But she's changed. I... I mean, we changed her. She has emotions that are confusing her. She's human. And I know she loves me as strongly as I love her. We're meant to be together forever. And I won't leave her up there all alone. I know that if I were there, I could find a way to help her revive the Blue Star. And then, someday, when it's ready to be inhabited again. I want to be there with Lucia. I want to be with the one I love. 
You must let me pass. You defy me, human, despite all that I have told you. We defeated Zophar to save this world, and I'm prepared to defeat you to save Lucia. As you wish. I know future me inserted footage of me being there alone, more than likely, because I have been playing this in my off time to try to get here alone. And I just use that to show off the other line. But yes, the Star Dragon. This battle is hero alone no matter what. Even if you are with the party lineup, it's still hero alone. That being said, though, this battle is honestly stupidly easy. This thing has 10,000 HP. You can just use a big attack, use a passion fruit. Use a big attack, use a passion fruit. That's all you really need to do. So even if you don't have your other party members with you, this battle is stupidly easy. Again, 10,000 HP. When his horn is glowing like this, it's going to just hit Hero with like three little dots of light. And it's going to do nearly 300 damage, give or take. Or more, depending on how low level you are. I should be fine. It's going to do nearly 300, so I might need to heal. But I'm fine with my combo because I have the elemental thing on that lets me just absorb stuff that he does so it's well not a zord but i take less damage overall so either way we're just gonna go off a triple sword all right that was a little iffy on the damage for this one he's not really doing much of anything the most you can really get for this animation is his tail switching back and forth but since his arms aren't going up and down, like basically at the shoulder pads in the front, he's going to do a lightning attack. That's pretty much the only way you can really tell on this one. Which thankfully, since we have the elemental defense thing on, we're not going to take that much damage. This tail is rather obvious. Red glowing back, fire attack. Really simple. I can just get away with another triple sword. The funny thing about this battle in the original Psycho City version, it's not the Star Dragon. It's just a, like, soldier dude. It's a Star Sentry. It's kind of weird like that. Which, honestly, I do find this battle in this one to just be, I guess, a little bit more grander. It's still an easy battle. It's just... It makes sense to be fighting a dragon that's guarding an entrance versus a guy all right now for this tell you see how his shoulders are like arching up and down on the front there that means he's going to use an ice attack so if you have defenses against that you're still good in this case i do so i'm still good All right, let's see. Now that his mouth is kind of like going up and down, this is the easiest tell, honestly, aside from the glowing horn. Yeah, th now it's going to be a wind attack. And as you know, elemental damage, we're good to go. All right, it's going to do the light attack again. So one more triple sword ought to do it. All that work and you didn't get squat. Well, we're going to finally be able to get to see Lucia. So I guess that counts for something. Either way, now that the challenge is done, let's go to the ending. <laughs> you fall with skill and strength that I've never seen, human. You have earned passage to the Blue Star. I've witnessed the power of your love for Lucia, human. I only hope that it is strong enough to help you survive the harsh landscape of the Blue Star. This is but the first step on a long and treacherous road. Find your footing on the road, human. And find the hope that lies buried amongst the stars. I shall wait here and believe that your love has the power to make dreams into reality. Go now, hero. The way is open to you. Go to the Blue Star. Go to Lucia. Yes. Alright. It's been a long time coming. Let's do this. Oh. 
What's that? It's the Star Dragon Crystal. I guess this is where we have to say goodbye. Hero, the time is now at hand for us to part ways, but this time we do so as friends. I shall wander this land in search of my true destiny while you seek yours with Lucia on the Blue Star. Well, good luck. Until now, I thought I was the biggest gambler on Lunar, but it's you. I don't know what lies ahead of you on this journey, but I'm sure you'll manage to win it all in the end. So I'm betting it all on you. Well, that's my pep talk. See ya, Chief. Hero, this is so very dangerous. I wish you could stay here with me, but I guess that wouldn't really be fair to Lucia or you. But, but then, your leaving really isn't fair to me either. <laughs> Some of what Ruby says is really true, you know, Hero. But then I... I'm sure you'll make it back to Lucia just fine. I have faith that you can do what you dream. So get out of here before I cry. Go! I mean it! Oh, I'm really mega bad at saying goodbye like this. But this isn't like a final forever goodbye, is it? You're just going out to pick up a friend. Oh, who am I kidding? <sighs> Hurry back, hero. This is it. The final goodbye. So, let's talk to everybody one last time. Hero, I know you have to follow your heart and your dream. But when you and Lucia come back, I expect you both to teach at the Magic Guild. I hope Lucia realizes what a treasure you are, Hero. You're worth your weight in silver. Thank you, Lamina. I'd offer to go with you, Hero, but I'm sure I'd just get in your way. And I know you'll be fine. You and Lucia will be on the Blue Star all by yourselves. How romantic. When the two of you return, come to the carnival and we'll dance the night away, alright? <laughs> thanks, Jean. I guess this is it, Hero. You're really going to the Blue Star. Promise me that you'll be careful when you're there. Try to stay out of trouble for once. And if you do get into trouble up there, promise me you'll come back here right away. And tell Lucia that I... Said she better take good care of you or else I'll... I'll... I'll miss you too, Ruby. Well, Chief, here we are, and you're about to gamble your life that this gizmo's gonna work. I don't know what's waiting for you on the Blue Star, Hero, but I do know one thing. I'll gladly bet anything I have that you and Lucia will find each other. Time's a-wasting, and Lucia's probably wishing for a snuggle bunny. I'll go get her, Tiger. Thanks, Ronfar. Hero, I know you shall overcome what trials await you on the Blue Star. Tears are forbidden when men part ways, Hero. Do not mourn the past. Embrace the future. While you are gone, I shall help Althena's chosen and share the true teachings of the goddess. Goodbye, my friend. Take care of yourself. You too, Leo. And that's our goodbyes said. So, let's go see Lucia. But before that, I should explain why I was with Hero alone on that second dialogue choice. Depending on who's in your party, you will either get the FMV if you have everybody, but if you don't, you get separate voice lines for the characters, whoever you have in your party. So what you could do is you could be missing two people on a save, Grab somebody, do the entire Star Dragon Tower, see all those voice lines, reload, grab that other person, and then see what their line is after going through the tower again. What are those lines? Honestly, I'll let you see for yourself. Give yourself a challenge. So, I'd like to thank you all for watching. This game was my childhood. I loved everything about this game, and I still adore it to this day. The gameplay, the combat, the music, all that stuff, I gushed about this before, but I have to say it again. I love this game. So let's end this journey together, shall we? Keep an eye on the blue star for me.